uh, example being cloud computing, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft Java architecture, etc. Our uh, key objective is to uh, do technology evaluation in, in emerging trends, uh, provide thought leadership to the company and uh, our clients, develop uh, solution frameworks along these technologies, and also uh, deliver uh, unique project, one of a kind projects, uh, which are new to cognizant. And the overall charter of Global Technology Office is also to incubate new technology business units, uh, meaning each of the COEs as they mature over time, uh, they get rolled out as uh, separate business units, right? Moving on to slide number uh, three. Uh, this is our uh, mission and charter, right? So we look at uh, adolescent and early mainstream technologies, see whether there is value in investing in those technologies for our customers as well as our business, and uh, try and incubate uh, the technology. Uh, we initially have a small team which uh, learns the technology, develops small frameworks, and tries to basically build capability around the technology. And as part of that, we do a lot of innovations. I'll talk about uh, uh, one such innovation in this uh, presentation. And uh, once uh, the once, once the technology capability is built, we also build uh, technology communities, uh, training, and basically evangelize the whole thing to uh, within government and our customers. And uh, that said, we, we don't only preach, we also do uh, consulting projects uh, directly with our customers and support uh, high technology projects within government. So that's our mission and charter. So moving on, uh, cloud computing, uh, we, we view cloud computing as um, IT-based capability that could address the vision of computing as a utility. Uh, we basically see cloud computing as an evolutionary model of computing, and uh, basically the resources like uh, processes, applications, platforms, and infrastructure, all of them provided and consumed as an abstract uh, utility service over network, be it internet or, uh, or LAN, right? So some of the... Uh, Key characteristics of cloud computing, which uh, everybody understands, uh, some of them I'm trying to highlight here. One of them is elasticity. How do you uh, scale your application or infrastructure based on the demand? The demand based on the use of system and and uh, cloud computing provides ubiquitous access to uh, any IT resource. Basically, it's anywhere IT, right? So how do you access the cloud services from uh, any location with just having a laptop uh, and an internet connection. And uh, how do you provide self-service? Self-service is one key characteristic of a cloud. There's no uh, middleman or administrator providing you uh, support and all that, but everything is done through like just like an ATM uh, where you can draw money and use it for your for yourself. So, and other characteristics are resource pooling and utility service. So resource pooling meaning you abstract all the physical resources, be it servers or storage or applications, and then provide them as virtual resources, and, and you do orchestration on top of that, right? So moving on to slide number five. This is our viewpoint on what are the benefits and challenges of cloud computing, right? Some of the benefits are uh, well-known, right? So there is uh, efficient utilization of resources and automation, scale as a go, uh, as a go model. There is... Uh, less capital expenditure and uh, um, it's, it's only operational expenditure which we incur. And the things I talked about, how do you uh, provide ubiquitous access anywhere IT? And the key thing to understand here is also about the short time to market, right? If, if a customer or a company wants to roll out a new solution or an IT-based solution, quickly time, the time to market uh, becomes key, more than uh, the cost, right? So how do you quickly deliver services to your customers? Uh, 